Hey guys, so what I'm going to do is just demonstrate for this, uh, the first part of the DVD will be a exercise description, I'll introduce myself and then go into a uh, demonstration of all the different basic movements that we can do with this, um, much along the lines of what we'll illustrate in the uh, instruction manual for uh, where we'll have before and after photos and we can edit this down or um, kind of choreograph the two so that they coincide. Um, the first exercises I'm going to start with are going to be um, the boxing movements, which we'll call, um, the first one is the ab jab, where you're just doing a small motion, just like a jabbing motion, where you're keeping your core engaged, so the cue points will be core engagement up in a plank position, um, keeping your elbows directly under your shoulders, and then going forward and back, a uh, two to three inch motion, just like this. And when I go forward and back, I'm narrowing the center of contraction of my core, getting a harder, tighter contraction. The second exercise from that, the advancement of that, will be the ab uppercut. And what that would be is just a full extension of one arm after another. It can be a fast movement or a more cardio workout. Or it can be a, a slower movement for a more kind of endurance, stamina, uh, isometric workout. Um, the modification for both of these exercises are gonna be just the small movements for the ab jab, where just I'm on my knees, my core is engaged, my kind of butt is up a little bit so that my lower back is straight and my stomach's in tight. I'm just gonna do forward and back two to three inch motions. And then for the uppercut, full extensions, I can do them slow or I can do them fast. Again, with this, we'll uh, notate that you're working the shoulders and arms at the same time. Um, the next movement would be the uh, abdominal, uh, we'll call it a ab hook. So you're up here and you just do a hook-like motion, just like if you were punching without showcasing in a small circle. You can do one at a time several on one side, several on the other. Modification again for that would just be this motion. And we can script this however you would like um, so that it's just briefly described. We say the name of the exercise and do the motion with the cue points and the uh, focus points for your core. Um, next thing for the side would be uh, a side plank, which is just a basic movement where you're holding it, um, engaging the core. You can do hip dips with it. Um, it really depends on how many things you want to do, but we call these kind of windshield wipers where you're holding on to one and just extending out. By doing so, I'm engaging my obliques and working my core. I can be here doing a cross under leg motion, so I'm up on my side and I'm just coming to the side like this, forward and back. Again, doing this, I'm engaging my shoulders, engaging my uh, upper and lower obliques on my right side, as well as a little bit on my left side to support myself and stabilize staying up. Um, the next thing we can do from here, you can also do uh, brief extensions where you extend up and come back. Again, doing that really pulls on your uh, lower obliques on the bottom side. Then from here, I can stay on one side, have my knees up. Um, this movement would be uh, an oblique row, uh, oblique row sit up. So what I would do is extend down. Um, the cue points for this would be lying flush, having my knees up 45 degrees, having my heels together and my feet together. Um, engaging my stomach and as I pull up I'm putting my weight into the plank um, into the absolution putting my pressure on my elbow and holding on with my fist keeping in mind that you're putting pressure on your fist as well so that you're not elevating the product extend down put pressure on both shifting your weight into the product so that you can elevate yourself up and down coming up and down just like this and again the more advanced version of this which I think if we use a GoPro uh, concept, we can say, like for group fitness classes and whatnot, you can say uh, you're going to go pro, and what that would mean would be that elevating your feet to make it a more advanced movement. So you'd be coming down and pulling up, and this again is working my upper obliques, this time on the left side. So I'm pulling and I'm engaging all throughout as I come up and down. And you can also see the engagement on my uh, lower obliques from the right side just to stabilize. Then from this position, um, again, the beginner version is here, the GoPro version or the more advanced version is up here, and the movement is just bring my torso down, pulling my elbow up. From here, we can go into circular movements. Um, I don't have a specific name for these, but um, this is probably one of the better exercises where you're engaging your obliques. We can call this whatever you'd like. As we script this, um, you're engaging your obliques as you're doing the circular motion call it like the windmill or something like that. Um, same thing, you can do the reverse direction or we could add in like a hook-like motion or hook-like name, um, something that has a boxing connotation if you'd like. Um, 
So again, I'm engaging my obliques. I'm effectively isolating and working my uh, upper and lower obliques on the left side, stabilizing just by doing this movement. So I'm getting a very effective crunch without actually having to lift my body up and down just by extending out and adding that, um, kind of forcing that tighter contraction by extending uh, out using leverage. And then again, the harder version would be up here, just doing circles. The faster you go, the more effective and efficient the contraction is going to be. And it's great for like a group setting or a class workout. Um, the next movement I want to showcase would be the um, row sit up, where both of your arms are like this. You're coming down, extending out. So my body's down, my heels are on the ground, slight bend in the knees, uh, toes pointed up. I'm putting my weight into my heels and I'm putting pressure down on my fist and my elbows engaging the stomach. What this is doing is I'm doing a full sit-up without putting any pressure on my neck or shoulders. So by shifting my weight and transferring it into the absolution, I'm effectively getting a full range of motion for my core, engaging my uh, the center part of my stomach, which is called the rectus abdominis, if we want to use specific terms, coming up and down. All I'm going to do is the cue points would be pulling your elbows so that the elbows are directly under your shoulders. If you want to make it harder, you can do a kind of a windshield wiper like motion or an ab angel or whatever we'd like to call it just where you're pulling them apart and tucking them in a little bit same thing by extending the further my arms are out in any of these motions the more effective and tighter i'm going to be pulling my core in and engaging my stomach so the regular row just coming here the gopro version would be feet up doing the row which is a much more isolated uh, much more effective crunch motion much harder, um, definitely not for beginners, but uh, you feel the effects uh, with, with much fewer repetitions in having to do these. And again, the main cue point is keeping pressure down on the fist so that you're not elevating the product as you're pushing down. So equal distribution of your weight, putting pressure into your elbows, pulling your elbows directly under your shoulders for the movement. Um, the next thing we can also do is the same as the thing we did on the side. Um, where you do the circular motion, you're just resting up here. This is a very aggressive um, upper abdominal exercise, just doing circular motion out. It isolates and engages them because it's forcing me in an isometric manner to pull my stomach in tight and as I extend out, it pulls in even harder. So each circular motion is like multiple crunches or multiple contractions at the same time. You can do the same thing for the reverse direction. Start with your elbows directly under your shoulders, sit up tight, curl your stomach in, just a circular motion like this. It doesn't take very many to get a good tight burn. Um, from here, uh, we can go into isometric movements, which would be just doing the stationary plank, which is kind of one of the, you know, focus points for, uh, for the product where you're holding. We're gonna um, showcase that it's taking away the uh, bone to ground contact by having the pressure um, distributed into the pads versus directly into the ground. So holding this, position alone is an isometric hold for my stomach. I can do slow isometrics where I have one arm forward, where I have one arm out, I can bring the arms apart, hold it like that, it's gonna be more effective, have the feet apart. Um, there's a lot of different variations for that. Um, but the modification is just engaging my stomach, being down on my knees. So while I'm doing these exercises in the video, um, we'll have the female uh, fitness model doing the modified versions of most of the exercises and I'll demonstrate the GoPro version. Uh, or I'll show her transitioning from one to the other, doing two or three repetitions of each. Um, and we can incorporate any of these exercises in any which manner you like. In all honesty, doing, um, doing just a few of them in a uh, five minute video or 10 minute like exercise demonstration is gonna be more than effective for the home user. I think you know, showcasing five or seven or 10 minutes a day uh, with a product doing a basic routine is gonna get tremendous results because most people are going to fatigue fairly quickly. As you can see, I'm winded talking and um, going through a lot of the movements at the same time. Um, the next version that we want to showcase with this, um, we can either take the handles off or leave them on. It doesn't really make any difference. Uh, it's a mountain climber motion where you have your feet up here and you're up. And all you're doing is just a smooth sliding, we'll call these ab dashes. So it's the same motion as a mountain climber. The key is have your butt elevated so that it's not cracking your hip bone and keeping your core engaged, holding yourself up. Just do quick motions. You can go as fast as you can for a quick cardio movement. You can always transfer back and forth between that and going into the ab jabs, coming back and forth just like this. Then the next version is um, uh, an ab tuck. 
or we'll call these a gut tuck. And what that is, you have your feet on, one on each, same motion, just tucking the knees in and extending back up. Smooth sliding motion, getting my lower core, also getting my cardio up. Very effective, doesn't take a lot for most people to feel it. They're also gonna get the pressure from their core. And same thing if we wanna make it more advanced, you can do the push up with the tuck, push up, tuck. That's gonna be a much more advanced version. I don't know how many things like that we wanna show, but there are a lot of options that we can do with that. Um, similar to a plank jack, the next one where you're up here, it's just like a jumping jack, just with your feet. You're just bringing them apart and back together. Again, this is a whole core engagement, same as the plank position. I'm just in an elevated plank position. So my core is being engaged, my stomach's in tight. I'm bringing my feet apart and back together. As I extend apart, I'm narrowing the center of focus in my core, getting a nice tight contraction. Same thing for the gut tucks. You can do a wide version of those where you're tucking your knees in wide so that all these movements can flow smoothly together for an exercise class um, for the video. However, we want to transition. So as we script this, um, we can transition the movements to coincide with one another. Um, the next version we can do is take one of these, you know, and of course, uh, when we introduce the video or the product to begin with, I'll show the assembly to start with, how to put them together, take them apart, use them. And from here, with this apart, you can take one unit, have both feet on, just tucking your knees in and out, nice quick motion. You can go side to side if you want, or hold it right here, go side to side with your feet, just do a little butt shake, and it's gonna get all the muscles on your transverse abdominis, which is kind of your natural weight belt on the side. Um, it's a much harder movement, so I don't know if we wanna put that on to begin with, but um, definitely having the one in, coming apart and back together, pulling the knees in and out, very effective. We can pull to one side, push it back, making a V-like motion, just like you're kind of surfing. Um, and then uh, I think that's the majority of the exercises we want to display for this. What we'll have to do is kind of script this in a manner that you want to uh, you want to put them together so that they flow. Um, after we demonstrate, maybe we pick five exercises for each kind of main. So we do a couple sitting ones, a couple um, oblique ones, a couple plank ones, and a couple leg ones. Maybe we showcase like four of each. So do like 16 exercises, or you know, three of each, do 12, and just demonstrate how to do them. And I think we could fit 12 fairly easily on a uh, on an instruction manual or 16. Maybe we have eight on each side, you know, um, separated into categories. So on one we have the uh, the regular abdominal crunches, then we have the obliques, then we have uh, lower core or the elevated ones, and then we have the plank exercises. Um, that way you're getting covering all bases for the whole core in general. Um, and then for the actual uh, exercise uh, video part of it, it'll be a workout between me and the fitness model where we'll just do a five minute thing incorporating all the exercises that we just explained how to do, <coughs> that we just explained how to do. So we'll incorporate all of those exercises into the video um, in a more class-like setting. So me and her will put through it, I'll talk it, I'll do the uh, more advanced versions or the regular versions and she'll do the uh, modified versions so that way we're showcasing, uh, implementing it, and having a video that uh, people at home can follow along with to get a five, 10 minute workout, however we wanna pick. If we wanna claim seven minutes a day or five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, however it is, you know, I can um, attempt to choreograph it so that it, it works uh, within whatever fashion, you know, we're, we're looking to do it with. Um, and on top of that, you know, in between um, the movements, if we wanna do a 10 minute workout, you know, we'll have, uh, incorporate calisthenics into it so you know we'll do a plank exercise we'll do a core thing then come up and maybe do something like squats or you know squat jacks coming apart together or jumping jacks or jogging in place or side step stuff to keep people moving keep their heart rate up so that maybe they're jogging in place and then they come down on the ground sorry jogging in place come down on the ground do little ab jabs Come back up, jogging in place, come down on the ground, have your feet in, do a little ab dashes, do jumping jacks, come back down, do the plank jacks with these, coming apart, illustrating the smooth movements and easy transitions from one exercise to the next so that 
you know, we're giving them a more fulfilled or something that we can build upon, you know, for uh, a DVD series or uh, future instructional uh, series. That's about it, guys.